Hi fellow traders, what's happening? I hope you guys had a great day. Um, almost the weekend, almost time to enjoy the fruits of our labor, spend some time with our family, our loved ones, and just kick back, recharge the batteries, and get ready to go next week. So looking forward to that. Now, there are going to be times, and I know some of you guys may be going through a storm right now. I'm inside of a storm. But what I want to share with you is that storms are going to be a part of our trading, no matter what. We're either going to be heading towards the storm, either by chance or uh, by self-direction, or we're going to be in a storm, or we're going to be coming out of a storm. But the goal is don't get... Um, caught up with the storm don't get consumed by the storm when you're going through it just keep focused on your goals keep focused on doing the things that you know you're supposed to do how you're supposed to do it when you're supposed to do it because the storm is not going to last forever as long as you continue to do the things that you're supposed to do now the longer the storm lasts it it could be self-inflicted that you keep yourself in the storm, you just keep following that same path. Or it could be the market is, is giving us issues. But whatever the case is, it's not going to last. And when you come out on the other side, if you did the things that you were supposed to do, it's going to be a learning experience. You know, think about all of these guys who throughout the years that have experienced tornadoes, hurricanes. Every time they go through one, they learn something. And they improve their um, response. You know, for us here, it, you know, when I started, when I was younger, you know, I had, I learned a lot of stuff going through different storms and what I needed to do to be prepared and, and everything. So we learn, if we do the right things, we learn and we grow. So just be encouraged. If you're going through a storm now, don't worry about it. It's not going to last forever. And the way you shorten it is just to keep focusing and doing the things that you're supposed to do. That's that's all it takes. Um, today, really nice day in the market. Um, we closed green. We stayed above yesterday's close price. We did have a little weak day on a gap up at the open, but we stayed above the 20, the 50, you know, I think we're above the five. So everything's going pretty good right now. And I think we may be up through 337 now. I'm headed towards 337.50 or so whatever. But the market may be recovering a little bit overnight. But it's it's in a good place. So again, my prediction, and that's all it is, it's a prediction, is my thesis based on what I'm seeing is that we're gonna get another leg up and we're gonna test this level tomorrow. That's my thesis. Now, if we wake up and we, it, the market looks weak, then we probably aren't. We're probably gonna pull back and, and retest this 100. So, but right now, my theory, and it doesn't matter whether I'm right or wrong, I don't really care. I'm gonna try to make money either way, but I'm expecting it to give us another push and retest this level here tomorrow. Um, you can see today, this is unique about today. We never, this is the five minute open and range low set by this candle right here. We never claimed it all day. We were never over it more than one candle. We had one close above it and that was this candle here coming out of lunch. And then it immediately sold back off. And then we had the big dump and the big recovery. And you can see the, the market was just really choppy today. Not a whole lot we could do to trade it. Um, so this is a, my trade from yesterday. I didn't get to do a recap. Everything just got was foobar yesterday. But um, I did get to take a snapshot of the chart i didn't get to um, take the picture of everything else something happened and it 
distracted me and I never came back to it. But um, this was a, a five minute opening range breakout. I'm waiting now for it to, you know, a couple of candles to establish and then take it because of the choppiness in the market. So that's kind of what I did here. Um, hit my first profit target and it started to turn. We didn't quite get to my second. It pulled back, ended up killing it. And I was waiting for the pullback to test the nine. And once we broke over this, I was going to load up again. So I was going to trade the continuation, the break of the channel it put in. I got in and then you see the big wash candle. So I try not to let it emotionally take me out. Let me let it test the technicals here and see if it comes back. I was thinking this may be a stopper, um, just seeking out, trying to pick up some volatility or whatever. But it bounced back. I thought we were good. It pulled back. And I probably should have killed it here when we made a lower low. Um, I mean, a lower high on this pullback. Uh, so I should have gotten out right here. But I gave it to the VWAP and the 20. I thought, well, hey, this is probably going to be too strong. We'll bounce again like here. And maybe we can grind our way back up later. No dice. Ended up um, taking it off. And then I was that. Gave back some of the money. I think I, I lost $220 some dollars. You know, and I was nice and green on this first trade and then turned around and gave it all back and then some. So yesterday was another stormy day. Um, so that closed out the month. The month I didn't end the way I wanted it to, but that's where we are for the month. We'll talk more about that at the end of the week uh, when I close out the week. Um, today was Roku. And honestly, I, I made a mistake here. I had both my um, TD Ameritrade account up and I had SpeedTrader. And you know, I, I day trade on SpeedTrader. TD Ameritrade, I've been doing some day trades on mainly all day holes just because I'm beta testing the platform and, you know, I don't do a whole lot with it. Just stuff to stay active and to test the platform to make sure that it's, it's working like it's supposed to. So I was supposed to take Roku and that on the break. I was looking to break the pre-market high. I wanted to buy it on the break, hold it all day. That was my my thing in um, TD Ameritrade. So I missed the entry. And I still had um, my, I still have my TD DOS account up, but what I did was I changed the color to print a chart in blue and I never changed the color back. So I didn't realize that that montage was up and I ended up taking the trade I wanted to take in Speed Trader. I wanted to take OSTK on the opening range breakout. I didn't take, and we'll look at that trade in a minute. I ended up taking it in the wrong account. So I had to take this in this account. Well, I didn't have to take it, but by then this was the only thing that was moving. And I waited for it to break the opening range high. We were getting close to 10 o'clock. So I waited for it to close above this level. And I got in. And I was looking for a move up to 200. It quickly failed, pulled all the way back, and it stopped me out. And so after this mess, and we made a higher low on this pullback, I'm like, as soon as we establish over this again, I'm just going to buy it and hold it throughout the day. And that's pretty much what I did. Uh, 194 was... Um, 194.50, I think, was going to be my stop or whatever. I can't remember the exact price, but it was through the low. Uh, I'm seeing if I could find it here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was one ninety four fifty. I gave it two bucks because I thought if I do that, we're gonna blow through two hundred. We may get up to, you know, I thought this thing was gonna go, but it didn't, and ended up taking profit here late in the day. We were cheering it on, trying to get to two hundred. Finally hit one ninety nine, pulled back, and I thought that I thought it was done. And last 30 minutes, man, this thing started waking up. We hit 200. It's at, uh, what is it now? Is it at uh, almost 202 now, aftermarket? So this did exactly what I wanted it to do, but it would have done better if I hadn't flip-flopped the counts. This would have been better as an all-day hold versus... Um, the OSTK, but that did pretty good too. But through all of that, lost sixty one dollars and five cents. So four days in a row red. Now here's the trade I took on OSTK. This was the one I was supposed to do as an opening range breakout. I ended up taking it in here, and so again that I had to turn it into an all day hold. It still had. I thought it had potential to get there. Um, 84.11 was going to be the target. This was the 50-day. The you know, and this is what we looked at this morning when we were look, um, vetting the stocks, that this was the goal for the stock. And I really thought we could get there. Um, but I got in, and this is a 60-minute chart. If you're going to watch these all-day hold type stocks, trades, you got to look at it on a 60 minute candle, a chart. So we did that. Um, but it came one cent. My my target, I put it at 184. I didn't put it right on the level. I put it 10 cents to the good. I put it at 84. It printed 83.99 and then started selling. And once we you know, started showing signs of relative weakness, I dumped it. You know, I, I wasn't going to take it. And the other thing, and this is more important, if you've gone through this, the class on using the 60-minute chart, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It hit the, um, the upper deviation band. So it hit it. It's not going to go through it. It may push it up a little bit, but once it hits it, it gets stuffed. And that's exactly what happened. I was trying to see if it was going to push up over 200. It finally did after the market closed. This is after market. Um, but this had plenty of room. I'm looking at it this morning. This had plenty of room um, to trade. So... You know, I had to, um, I had to take it. it. It was just too nice, too nice of a trade. So that worked out, um, worked out pretty good. So and that's why I took it off and didn't leave it to see if we were going to get eighty four. And of course, after market, we're at eighty four. We're over eighty four now. Um, but. Still got the meat of the move. Still real happy with it. 300 shares. All right. 300 shares. We got 12.9506. That's all. Minimal risk. Minimal risk for this great re reward here. Um, so really happy with that. Uh, unfortunately, it's not in... <laughs> it wasn't in my speed trader account, so it doesn't help me with my my four red days in a row in that account. Doesn't help me at all. Um, well, here's a five minute chart. This kind of shows you what it looked like on a five minute chart, and I guarantee you, if I was day trading this, I would have taken profit, then stopped out, and maybe have gotten back in this. But I'd have been in and out of this trading, this frustrating thing, you know, all day. 
but I eliminated all of the all of this noise just use a 60 minute chart and that's that works perfectly all right what is this oh this is just a 60 minute chart of the Roku trade we took that's all that is all right so swing trades UPS um, it kind of held up the day we came back it kind of held up today this is um, this is where it is from yesterday but UPS kind of held up let me see and, and what happened yesterday is I accidentally took this off and but I got back in I was putting in my stop and accidentally took it off and ended up getting back in at a better price than I had before by like two bucks. So in, in a sense, I think that's a good thing. But if you look at it today, um, even though we've got a red candle and it, and it closed kind of weak, um, you can see, let me see if I can blow this up a little bit. Um, you can see that you know, we're still trending. We're still holding the daily, the five, the daily five. And so as long as that's happening, I am looking for this thing to blow and to get up to 180. If you look at the advanced chart, this is the, the level I'm looking for it to touch. So it's got to take out the high of this candle and then I think we're going to make the move. Um, but that's what happened yesterday. I accidentally took it off and then you can see I turned right back around and got in. Uh, SQ, this was the one that I thought I was going to... Um, get a gap up overnight on that was my whole plan it backfired on me the market tanked for whatever unknown reason um so you can look at sq today had a decent day today so i'm still looking for it to um take out 52 week high and push on up to what 180 um, and this guy, this had an upgrade too, I believe. Yep. That's what I jumped on. But it's it's not doing right by me right now. Um, WKHS. This one is just failing all over the place. Um, and that's, that's a nice way of putting it. Okay, I, I'm not going to use the words I want to say. But you can see this one, and it it did hold the 20 today. That's the only slither of hope I have in this trade, that it did hold the 20 today. Um, and the 5 is starting to trend up. So this could be a sign. I don't know if I'm grasping for straws, but if we take out the 20 tomorrow, it's a done deal. Um, so I'm, I may just be holding on to, to um, you know, pipe dreams here. But, you know, that's what I'm looking at. Um, and Zen, Zen has done um, pretty good the last couple of days. This is the only one that I'm in the green, really, really in the green on. Um, this one has worked out um, pretty good. So... You can see today we had like a little rest day. It gapped up, kind of had a little rest day. Again, I'm looking for this. My first target's around 108, which is, what's the high of this? This is 103.97. So I've got my target every day is 108. Um, so we're looking to get that. Now, if we get to 106 tomorrow, uh, 106.50 or so, don't think I won't take profit. Because I'm going to have an alert set. 
and I'm going to look at the chart and determine whether I want to take profit there or not. Uh, I want to go into the weekend locking something in on ZEN. I mean, I want to go into the weekend lock with you know locking something in on it. So um that's it with the swings I've got. I do not open up new swings over the weekend. So I won't be opening up any trades tomorrow. This is where we ended the the um the month. Um, I didn't add all that together. Let me add that together. I'm not good at math, believe it or not. I've got this calculator along with dyslexia. And you wonder how I even function. But I got a taste of both of those. Um, so 1201. Is that 1201? Hold on. 8020, let me do this again. 8024, 77. I think I added. This thing has 120,000. No, that's not right. 123860. And then 274746. Yeah, 1201. So $12,010.83 is what we ended up with on swings that so that's not a bad month i was hoping to take some profit on and that's the main reason why i took sq was i thought that if it got up overnight i can just take profit and count that closing out the, the month and i was trying to get 15 but you know luckily it didn't didn't kill me so but it does it you know i am in a a little stressful situation waiting for it to to get to where it needs to be but all of the swings technically are still in play so i'm not worried about that all right so that's gonna wrap it up i hope you guys have a great rest of the day and night and i'll catch you first thing in the morning